Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I wanted to show you how to change your templates in Squarespace. This is something that people stress out quite a bit about. They worry, you know, what's gonna be transferred over, what isn't, but don't worry, I got you. And I've created a free guide that will guide you through the process Okay, I could have used a different word. It's a free guide and it's going to guide you through the process of flipping over your templates so that you have everything saved and you don't need to worry. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Louise of solopreneursidekick.com. I put out new videos all about building your online business and I am a huge fan of Squarespace so you will see a lot of videos about that. So if that is something that you're interested in, make sure that you hit subscribe and that you hit that little bell icon so that you get notified every time I post something new. All right, so here's how to change your template. Okay, so I've gone ahead and created this demo website so that I could walk you through the process of changing templates. So this is my demo site, which is currently on the Brine template, and we are going to switch that up. So the first thing that we need to do is copy down everything that we want to bring over to the new template. So what you're going to want to do is make sure that you click the link in the description below, which is going to give you a link to download this free PDF here. And this is where we're going to save all of the information from this template that we need. So first things first, we're going to go into style editor and copy over any style settings that we want to keep. So you're going to click on design and then style editor. Okay, so now you want to look at whatever it is on this template that you really like. So for example, let's say that I loved this font and I want to bring it over to my new template. I'm just going to click on it and it is going to bring up the styling options over here on the left side. So what I'm gonna do is click this little drop down here and make a note of my font type, the weight, the style, all of this information here we can copy over. So in the document over here, you're just going to type in this information. So this is for heading two, and I'm going to write in the font name, the weight, the uh, style, and the size. Okay, great, so I loved heading two. Let's say that I also love this button. I'm gonna click on that and make sure to grab this color here. So I'm gonna copy this hex code here, go back into my document, and to know what it is, you can see that at the top here. So this is button block medium, and I would just paste in that color knowing that I want to change it to that color as well as I want it to be solid. Okay, so you get the idea. You want to go through your site and make note of anything that you want to bring over to the new template. And this is all style changes. So your fonts, your colors, anything like that. Okay, so next in our PDF is custom code because this also does not transfer over when you switch templates. So what we're going to do is we're going to click back. And this time under design, we're going to go custom CSS. And if you have any custom CSS on your site right now, you're just going to copy all of this and paste it in the section here. All right, so once you've done that, the next thing is to note your primary navigation order. So by that, I mean these top links up here. So whatever the order is that you have set, you need to make a note of this because these are going to move down to the not linked section when you change templates. So for example, all I need to do is write home about contact freebie. Next, if you have any sidebar content, you're going to want to paste that in here. And if you have any photos, make sure to save that to your computer because sidebar content does not transfer over. And this is something that you're going to want to be careful with because some templates don't have a sidebar. So just keep that in mind when you are choosing the new template, if that is important to you. All right, next is your footer content. So for example, down here, we have our footer. 
This is my footer content. This will not copy over, so I'm just going to copy this into this area here. All right, so the next section is your page headers slash intro areas. So in your site, let me give you an example. On my about page, I have a banner image at the top and I also have a header here. So because this is an intro area, this about will not copy over. So I'm going to make a note of that. So go through all of your pages and copy this over. This part was the most confusing. Um, so if you're unsure, just jot it down so you have it as a backup. And finally, you want to save any background images and banners to a folder on your computer. So not all templates allow for a banner area. So you're just going to want to make sure that you've saved all images that you've used to a folder on your computer. And then I have a few important notes for you. For example, if you're switching templates and they don't have these particular page types, then you will notice some changes. So index pages, if you change it to a template that does not allow for these, it's going to convert to a folder. Info pages will not display, so be careful with those. And project pages will convert to a gallery page. And then I have a list of everything that you don't need to worry about copying. So for example, your actual pages and their content, any blocks, blog posts, all of this you don't need to worry about copying over. That is going to be done automatically. So it's really just everything above in this guide that you need to note down. All right, so now let me show you how to actually change templates. So to change your template, you're going to click design and then template. And as you can see, I'm currently on the Brine template. So you'll be able to see which template you're on because it will be listed here and right next to it, it will say live. So now I'm going to click install new template and you'll see a list of all the different templates that you can choose from. Let's say that I wanted to change to Hayden. What I'm going to do is click start with Hayden and as you can see it says installation successful and now Hayden is listed down here as well. Now in order to preview it, I need to hover over it and then click preview. So only you can see this. Don't worry, um, your site has not changed over yet. So as you can see, this has now brought in all of the demo content from the Hayden template. So what we need to do is go back under pages so now, as you can see, all of the content that we had on the other template has moved down to the not linked section. So what you're going to want to do is bring it up to this top section. So for example, I would grab my about page and drag it up here. So this is under my main navigation. And then when you click on that page, you can see what your content looks like on this new template. So as you can see, it is now in the fonts of this template and it has also changed how this top section looks here. So what you would do is drag all of your pages up to the main or primary navigation. I've seen it called both. Um, and then what you can do is delete all of the template demo content. So to do that, all you need to do is hover next to it and hit the trash can icon. So I would go ahead and do that with all of the demo content. I'm going to drag up my content from before. So as you can see, this actually didn't bring over my index page properly. So you might need to reconstruct a few things. So I'm just gonna click on the plus sign, index, and recreate my home page. So sometimes, you know, as you transfer over, there might be a few little editing changes you need to make, but generally it's nothing too intensive. And as you can see, it's made the home page one of the pages of this new template. So that is something that you would want to change as well. So you'd need to click on the gear icon, scroll down to where it says set as home page, and just make sure to update this. Okay, so now I can get rid of all of this demo content and continue to pull up my pages from before. So I'm going to drag up my content page, 
drag up my freebie. And then these sections here were all part of my homepage index, so I'm also going to drag those up. So as you can see, things might shuffle around a bit, but that's totally fine, and you'll just need to make a few adjustments to your new template. But a lot of the information has copied over, so all of the text and the photos have copied over automatically. So once you've gone through and you've copied all of the information over from your PDF, so you would scroll up to the top, make sure you've copied over your style settings, and that you've pasted in your custom CSS code to this new template area. Once you have done all of that from the guide, you're just going to click set as live template and confirm. And this is going to change your template on your live site. So now that is what everybody will be able to see. So that's it. That is how you switch templates in Squarespace. If you have any questions about this at all, just leave it for me in the comments below. And again, remember to grab this free download, which is going to make the process a whole lot easier. All right, guys, that's it for this video. I hope that this has taken away all the stress of changing your templates in Squarespace. Remember to grab that free guide that I've created. I'll leave a link to it in the description below and right above here somewhere. I always forget what side it goes on. Either way, I'm so grateful that you're here and watching this video, and I will see you guys soon with another one.